Um, and I know there was people, especially after watching you talk football with Peyton last night, where you guys were talking about some play where you decided to cut it, and you actually saw Peyton like stiff, like straighten up a little bit, and Eli as well. Like those conversations that only a few of you can have with each other, I think are what make the Monday Night Manning really cool. Tom Brady and he had a couple of those. Russell Wilson, I think he was in the middle of breaking down film as it was happening. I think those high level conversations are sweet. But all I could think of while I heard you speaking that is there's no way this dude retires, right? You love the game so much, it feels like. Every single time you speak about the game. Now, there's obviously a lot of shit that comes with being an NFL quarterback, being the MVP, being a celebrity. But you said you love ball. I think every time you speak about it, you prove it even more. There's no way that's Ever been a thought has it really and have you ever thought about the future aside from the jeopardy have you ever thought about the future in that type of sports media world uh, not really to be honest you know i i, I enjoy uh you know watching uh, men and women who do it well at a high level um i think uh you know there's a dedication to the craft that the best ones have it's it's fun and it's very evident when you're in production meetings with people who uh, who love it, who spend time on it, who are very uh, particular about their questions. You know, they want to waste your time. They ask really pointed, uh, solid questions. And, you know, just like, you know, in the last week, people were talking about their interaction with Madden and how fun that was to production with, with them. I've always loved working with Al Michaels. And you guys have had Al on the show many times. And, and I, I know he's talked about how much he enjoys those production meetings. But, but being there with him and Chris and Michelle and Freddie, and the crew, it's a lot of fun. I mean, those are really fun conversations. And Al always has, you know, one or two anecdotes that uh, that make you smile, stat he might bring up, or a memory, and and those are fun, and, 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 and you love those. But I've also given a lot of my life to this game. You know, I didn't start playing until eighth grade. I obviously played four years in high school, played three in college, in my 17th. At some point, you know, the ride stops and you got to get off. And, you know, you, you want to, I think, still be – able to play, still be able to walk, still be able to have, you know, cognitive brain function when you're done playing. Those are important. And uh, I've really been trying this year to just stay in the present as much as possible. I know it's hard because people want to, you know, they want to talk about, uh, you know, my future and, and what I want to do. And I respect that and I appreciate that. But for me, I, I can't, I can't, you know, have two feet in the, in the past, you know, living in the nostalgia of what we've accomplished and the amazing memories or two feet in the future, thinking about you know the the, the decision uh, decisions that are looming moving forward. I've just really tried to, to remain in the present, and that's allowed me to just enjoy the little things. I said it last year how special that was uh, to me, and, and a lot of that is just the mindset, the perspective. You know what you focus on and where your focus is, your energy flows, and, and my focus Ooh. has been on, on this team and these guys and the relationships that I have with the with the players and the coaches and the front office and the equipment guys and the trainers and and the cafeteria staff and all those things that make uh, every day going to work that much more special. I think that allows you to just live with a little bit more gratitude, a little bit, a little bit more joy every day.